After the welcome session, we begin the program with an audience poll using Slido. This polling session is aimed at assessing participants' opinions, expectations, and points of view on various aspects of peatland restoration. This polling session will be moderated by Professor Daniel Murbiarso. Pak Daniel, the time and screen is yours. Thank you, Iska. Um, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends, um, I'm sure you've already familiar with Slido. Um, if uh, you can go to the browser, uh, please upload the slido.com and then use hashtag swamp, or you can go to the uh, chat room. In the chat box, there is a link. Vito, can you put up the link? No, I, I, I didn't see it. It's not there. There you go. Yeah, just click that Slido link. And then you have the Slido um, application with you to join this exercise. So um, with the help of the interpreter, I will explain or run this session in Bahasa Indonesia so that I can talk with my Indonesian colleagues. Uh, the interpreter will translate it for colleagues who speak English speaking. Um, jadi ini adalah sebuah jajak pendapat. Uh, so this is a, a, a poll, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a test and, or a quiz. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer. Uh, this is just us sharing our opinion and you are also going to do it anonymously. So uh, that way we can capture your honest opinion. There are four aspects that we want to ask you uh, the first aspect is the biophysical aspect and then the social, economic, and governance aspects. For each aspect, they, we have prepared four questions. So in total, we have 16 questions to answer. Now, from the results of the poll, we can uh, capture a general view an overview of your expectations about uh, peatland restoration in Indonesia and seeing those views from those four aspects. Let's uh, start now. Okay. So the first question is regarding the biophysical aspect. So we have two languages, English followed by Indonesian after Celeste. So with regard to those questions. Okay. Jadi yang sorry. Um, Pito. Baik. Jadi dari pertanyaan pertama. All yeah. right. From the first question. The participants are hoping that there will be more pitland reweighted. Okay, the second question. Kalau kita ingin uh, kesuksesan diukur dengan kondisi hidrologinya. If we would like to measure the success related to the hydrology uh, what do you think about the hydrological conditions all have been reweighted or partially reweighted or you haven't got the opportunity to observe uh, 
Oke, okay. jadi sekitar So from the responses that we've got, 40% of the respondents mentioned that only few have achieved the target. Berikutnya, pertanyaan Next ketiga. Question. question number three concerning biophysical aspect. So if we would like to see more kira-kira apa pengamatannya? Semua sudah sebagian been or to be revegetated in your opinion. What is your view? 5 30 or in your understanding of restoration related to the revegetation, do you think peatland restoration Oke, okay, sangat dinamis sekali pertanyaan ini. Baik. Seperti kondisi hidrologi, right. sebagian besar. If we look uh, at the hydrological condition, most audiens belum banyak. Mention that masih sedikit yang mengalami revegetasi. Only few have achieved the target. So 44% of the respondents mentioned so. The next question. If your understanding of restoration is related to fire occurrence, do you think peatland restoration has achieved its target in reducing fire incidents or hotspots? They said mostly achieve as planned. Some have achieved the target. Only if you have achieved the target. Dinamis juga. So we can see dynamic answer. Sudah so we can dengan hanya sedikit yang tercapai targetnya. Other... Baik, jadi seperti hidrologi dan vegetasi. Responsion that only few have achieved the target. Kebakaran masih belum tuntas, masih banyak tantangan ke depan. We need to improve kebakaran. fire occurrence management. Forty-six percent of the participants mentioned only few have achieved the target. So thank you so much for your kind participations in responding the question relating to the biophysical aspect. The next question is relating to the social aspect. So, pertanyaan pertama, Vito, we'll give you more time so that you can have further understanding of the question. So Vito has displayed the question. Kalau kita mengamati aspek sosial sebaiknya. So if we look at the social aspect, apakah perubahan perilaku? What do you think needs to be measured immediately to assess social impact? Is this changes in community behavior in utilizing peat or peatland resources? Is it the impact of restoration activities on the social structure of the community? Is it identifying potential conflicts? or identifying groups that are for and against speed restoration efforts. Thank you. So while we wait for Pa Daniel to join again, let's continue with this uh, slider poll. We have uh, just started the social aspect and uh, we are now <coughs> on first covered the, uh, I think we covered the first question. Now, can we move on the second one? And this, this is about when behavioral changes are observed, what aspect of peatland restoration are affected? There are four options. Kindly take your time to go through them and provide your opinion on this. Okay. I'll wait for a few more seconds. Because there are people still polling. The main thing that's emerging is a different use of different type of vegetation to support livelihoods. So that's one of the behavioral change that is observed as per our group polling here. So we have about 100 parties, more than 100 part participants and 60 have voted. So we'll give maybe 10, 15 seconds more because there were long um, options to read through. Once we cross about 80, 
people or participants mark, then we'll move to the next slide. What is interesting is uh, in this poll is that the least um, voted option is keep using existing peatland, but aware of peat wetness by keeping soil moist. So I think this is very clear that this kind of uh, positive behavioral change is observed. So I think uh, the polling is stopped at 65. Um, we can move to next slide, Vito. I, uh, it's, I, I don't see it changing. Yeah. So on the next one, we are talking about considering the different community conditions in each heat hydrological unit, how should the social impacts be measured? So there are various options. What would be the best way to assess? We have a few quick responses. So make sure you are reading all options. I'll also like to again mention that this is not really a quiz. It's just uh, there are no right or wrong answers. We are trying to assess through your perceptions, through your experience, through your knowledge of uh, peatland restoration. What is your opinion? What are your perspectives? So share your honest opinion. And here, the, the highest poll um, is received by option which says creating a baseline to compare the impacts across community groups. So that would be a good way to measure social impacts in each peat hydrologic unit. And the next one in this one is comparing within a certain group over a period. So this is also important. So between two time periods, before and after, and see how this has changed, which is another way to assess the, the social impacts. Okay, Vito, we can move to the next one. I think this is the fourth and last option uh, in social aspect. This is regarding gender equity and participation of women. When women participate in peatland restoration uh, is strengthened, what progress uh, is observed? I understand in some cases you might think that there should have been an option to choose more than one. You can edit also with yes. your, your answer, <laughs> with a new answer. So Daniel, good to have you back. I, I, I was filling in your shoes, but I was limited by my language skills, so I was doing it in English. Excellent. Good, good thing we had in there. So if you want to take on from now. Uh, your comment on the last questions on the social? Uh, well, I was just saying that on this one, uh, this is about women participation and uh, the most prominent one is in the active decision making process when they are mm -hmm. women are involved and decision making is is more inclusive and active uh, why, why why i'm saying inclusive also because that comes the second next so those two first and uh, second are the highest uh, vote getter if i can say that thank you rupesh Thank you, Patrick. I think this can was... we move to... yeah. yeah. Can we move to the economic aspect? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, friends, I was kicked out. And uh, thanks, Rupesh, for replacing and filling the gaps. 
First questions on the economic. I think uh, these are very exciting questions that we have only three. And so we are expecting all the options, which economic data are more important to measure in the impact of restoration. The data apa yang diperlukan untuk restorasi, data ekonomi apa. Which economic data are more important to measure the impact of restoration? Is it fresh data that are taken directly from respondents? Is it calculated data on value? Secara umum, so in general, most of the respondents have chosen fresh data that are taken directly from respondents. So the least data economy mengenai option chosen here is the secondary data. Investasi, capital, bergeser ke paling bawah. Tetapi secara umum, 70% hampir so, para peserta berpendapat. 70% of the participants chosen or are of the opinion that fresh data that are taken directly from respondents are more important to measure the impact of restoration. All right, the next question, Vito. Dengan mempertimbangkan considering yang ada pada ongoing level, intervention, at what level can the economic impact of pit restoration activities be measured? Is it household income? Is it businesses activities? Is it workforce absorption? Or is it contribution to gross domestic product? Sementara household income atau pendapatan rumah tangga menduduki For the time being, household income is the highest chosen option or answer. Almost 70% of the respondent chose household income, followed by the workforce absorption. Oh, it's still ongoing. Okay, I'll give you more seconds. But again, household income is the top or most chosen answer. The third question in relation to economic aspect. If the impact measurement is carried out at the household level, which respondent is most relevant to measuring the economic impact of pit restoration? Is it household directly involved in restoration activities? Or household not directly involved in restoration activity, but their properties are affected by those activities? Absentee land managers or owners? Ini tidak bisa ditanya mungkin ya yang terakhir absenti land manager. Or the last option is di kota -kota besar lain. the absentee land managers or owners can be besar, in Jakarta or in other big cities. Most respondents or participants have chosen the option of A rumah tangga yang terlibat langsung and B but not C. Tidak terlibat langsung. It means that household directly involved and household naturally representing but not absentee land managers and owners i think this has naturally represented what happens in the field so thank you so much for that and now let's move on to the next question in relation to the economic aspect how should the result of the economic impacts of restoration should be represented? Data awal. Is it initial data? Nilai sebelum diintervensi. 
Is it the value before intervention or after intervention? Sebelum dan sesudah intervensi, saya kira sangat logis dan menjadi pilihan sebagian besar peserta, sehingga kita bisa membanding. Person one is the dampak ekonomi dari directly demonstrate values before and after restoration intervention. Saya kira pesan ini sangat kuat, 63 persen. I think this is a strong message. 63 persen of the respondent have chosen that option. Do we have more poll, polling participants giving responses? Okay. The next aspect is the governance aspect. The first question relation in relation to the governance aspects. There are three things that we are considering. In your view, what is the most important to ensure Biaya. Sustainable pitland restoration programs is budget specific regulation on pitland restoration. Is it dedicated organization to pitland restorations or secured annual budget? Tapi regulasi perlu jelas juga. So most mentioned that specific regulation on pitland restoration. Sangat dinamis antara so we've seen dynamic answers organisasi. between budget and organization, Regulasi. yet the most chosen option is specific regulation on pitland restoration. So we can see that specific regulations Jelas. on pitland restoration is the most chosen one. It is very important to have clarity or clear specific regulations for all stakeholders. Next, Vito. So if we choose regulation, so in your view on sustainability related to regulation, and regulations on pitland restoration, is it quite adequate? somewhat sufficient, hardly sufficient, or do not have the opportunity to observe. Just like the biophysical aspect, it seems that most respondents mention that the regulations existing are somewhat sufficient. Thank you for that. Thank you for your responses. Apakah dari dampak Sorry, ini pertanyaan kedua ya. So, is this the second question? Oke, okay. pertanyaan ketiga. All right. Meskipun Now, let's move on to the third question. Bagaimana aspek? So, in your view on sustainability related to organization, do you think the government has sufficient organization on pitland restoration? Is it quite adequate, somewhat sufficient, hardly sufficient, or you do not have opportunity to observe? Mirip dengan jawaban pertanyaan kedua. Masih sedikit soal organisasi. Similar to the answer. Kurasi dari segi apa organisasinya, apakah tingkat bawah. The students mentioned that the organization is somewhat sufficient. So we need to look at the lower level field or the national level field. Yang terakhir, soal. All right, the last question regarding budget. In your opinion, on sustainability related to budget, do you think government has sufficient funding on wetland restoration? Do you think it is adequate fund? There's adequate funding, somewhat sufficient, hardly sufficient, or you haven't got the opportunity to observe? 
So this is interesting. Different from the previous two aspects. In relation to the organization and regulations. In relation to the budget. More. <laughs> participants are of the so 45 percent of the participants have chosen this option that the budget is hardly sufficient thank you so much all of the participants for your kind participations in the survey so we can also check the chat box on your responses so thank you so much for your kind participation so your responses will set the tone on our discussion today regarding the progress of pitland restoration in terms of the biophysic social economic and also governance aspects thank you so much and now i'll give the floor back to iska Neil and rupes for moderating this polling session